All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how to flesh a deer hide today. We're actually gonna make some raw hide uh, with this hide, but this process is the same, whether you're gonna make raw hide or if you're gonna tan your, your deer skin or make buck skin or whatever. You gotta start uh, with a fresh hide like this and get all the flesh off of it. Now, the tools that I've got, you're gonna have to have some sort of fleshing beam. I've made mine out of a piece of an oak log that I split off. Um, basically, you nail it up in an A-frame. You could make it completely with two by sixes, and that'll work just fine. Um, for a fleshing tool, I'm just going to use my draw knife that I use for making bows. Uh, you can make uh, draw. You can make a fleshing knife out of an old lawnmower blade. Um, you, what we're going to do is we're not really cutting the flesh uh, off of this hide. We're basically just pushing it off. Um, there's going to be a thin layer of muscle and a thin layer of fat and separating that from the actual hide is a layer of membrane. And we can use that membrane to help push that, uh, that, that muscle and, and fat off of this skin. So if you're going to be using a, a lawnmower blade, uh, you would just pad the ends uh, with something so it's a little bit more comfortable to use. And then that hard 90 degree edge is really all you need because like I said we're not cutting we're just pushing so let's get started on this hide I'm gonna lay this hide on this uh, on this fleshing beam with kind of just like right in the middle so I'm gonna start from the middle of this hide I'm gonna start pushing this stuff down and then I'm gonna work from the center out and I'll end up with a nice clean hide and if you've got dogs around they like to hang around so they can get bits of scraps. Now if you're working with a 2x6 or with something with a fleshing bean that has uh, hard edges, you need to be real careful around those edges because if you get the hide pinched in between a hard edge of your fleshing beam and uh, your, your fleshing knife, it's real easy to punch a hole in these things. So you want to avoid that if possible. Just reposition that thing when you need to. So I'm going to work it down a little bit, then I'm going to shift the hide over. Work another little bit down, and you can eventually get it to where you can push it off. And if you get a bunch of fat and stuff built up on your knife, just scrape that stuff off and it'll help your knife get a little bit better bite. Just readjust that hide so you don't have to lean over quite so far. To do this, your hide needs to be pretty, fl pretty fresh. If this stuff is really dried on there, this isn't going to work so good. A deer hide is one of the easiest hides to flesh. Believe it or not, it's, uh, it's easier to flesh a deer hide than it is a smaller animal like a squirrel or a raccoon or something like that. For some reason, their um, flesh and membrane just clings really tightly to the hide and it's hard to get off. Now down here towards the bottom ends, especially around the legs, you'll end up with this kind of membrane that you'll just grab, you just kind of stick your knife on it and, and pull, and it'll eventually come off. The legs can be really tough to uh, get all of this membrane off of.
Again, you want to be real careful around these thin spots, especially when you get around the edge of your flesh and beam as well. All right, so that took about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. And we've got a nice dusty, but fleshed out deer hide that is ready uh, to go on with whatever process you're gonna be doing. Like I said, whether it's making rawhide, tanning it, or uh, making buckskin.